March 1, 2014, was a global day of action against government corruption. In Canada, this was interpreted as a day of action against Prime Minister Stephen Harper and his government. We should, of course, in uh, summertime. World government. Well, it's unfair. Could you tell me why you're here today? I'm sick of Harper and the TPP. I'm sick of everything. All I want is a clean environment. My kids need to grow up in this stuff. So do the rest of us. Think about it, Harper. Despite temperatures of more than minus 30, the omnibus march against Stephen Harper in Edmonton happened at Canada Place. So what are, what are you here today for? I'm here because of all the, all the things that the government is doing against the people, not just the Aboriginal people, but all people of this country. I'm, I have lots of information, and it's important that all people know this information. Like, there are two laws to this land. The first law of this land is called Grandmother's System, or Creator's Law. The second law of this land is called British Common Law. I am not British subject and I am not a British citizen. The first law of the land supersedes the second law of the land, so their laws don't apply to me. They don't apply to all Aboriginal peoples of this country. The government owns no land, nothing at all. Because they don't own land, they cannot make laws that we have to follow. They are fooling all of the people most of the time when lots of us are starting to wake up, as you can see it by the crowd here, and I'm pretty sure that there'll be a lot more of us. My family is all with me in everything I do. I've been doing this stuff since I was 12 years old. I've been doing research because I was taken away by the welfare system. And I was put into culture shock the first day I was taken away. That I can't talk about, it would take too long. <laughs> So what, what, do you, what do you hope will, uh, will happen today? What do you hope to see today? I'm hoping that by things that are happening right across the world, that we can change the system that everybody is following. It's, it's a system that's corrupt. Everybody that's in that system is a corrupt person too. Like the Prime Minister is only a single entity. The Queen is only a single entity. The Pope is only a single entity, and they rule us. That's not right. The land does not belong to them. It belongs to all Aboriginal peoples of this land. Each of us as Aboriginal people own 100% of all the land. One person, one Aboriginal person can make a decision for all of us because each and every one of us Aboriginal people own 100% of all the land. Great. Awesome. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to say? There's lots more, but I'll let you interview somebody else. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Council of Canadians is here today. Uh, can you tell me why the Council of Canadians is at this event? Why the Council of Canadians is at this event? Well, it's because the Harper government <laughs> opposes just about everything we're for, and is for everything that we oppose, right? You want me to go into details? Well, if you can tell me a couple of things, yeah. Right. Okay. We're for very tight environmental regulation of the tar sands and all sorts of other economic projects. The Harbour government is loosening all these regulations. We are against secretly composed trade pacts like the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The Harbour government is for it. We are for letting scientists speak out about their research, even if they are government employed. The Harbour government gags them, etc. And you could probably go on and on. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> go, go, go! Harper's gotta go. Go, go, go! go. Harper's gotta go. Someone like that would actually be really, really good in order to, uh, you know, like
It's at 3 o'clock, it's 2.30. It's too long to wait. <laughs> Progressive Conservative Party and Edmonton area PCMPs have declined to comment on coverage of anti-Harper protests on this program. To review PC policies, go to www.conservative.ca and click on Where We Stand. A rally for retirement security took place in Churchill Square on March the 2nd. The rally protested changes to the province's pension plan proposed by Premier Allison Redford. As part of the demonstration, which was attended by more than a thousand people from across the province, Premier Redford received an Oscar for her two-faced performance on Alberta's political stage. The award was accepted on her behalf by union leaders. Wow! I'm touched. I'm accepting this award on behalf of all the people who voted for Alison Redford thinking that she would deal fairly with workers without burdens and without public services, so I'm touched. But it is seriously, folks, what Alison Redford has been doing over the past 18 months since her election is no laughing matter at all. She campaigned on promising to be a different kind of conservative, a progressive conservative. She promised to increase access to public uh, post-secondary education. Instead, she made massive cuts. Jane, she promised to protect programs for seniors and the disabled. Instead, she has closed long-term care beds and attacked Ventura Center in, in Red Deer. Jane, and she promised to treat people with respect, including the thousands and thousands of public sector workers who deliver these key services to our burdens. Instead of treating employees with respect, she stripped them of their constitutionally protected rights to bargain collectively. Shame! Shame! Instead of treating us with respect, she's undermining the retirement security of 300,000 public sector workers and retirees by attacking our pensions. trying to spotlight on all of Alison Redford's broken promises, but we're highlighting her attack on pensions because it will be the focus of the next legislative session, which starts tomorrow. The end of the Tories starts tomorrow. And because the government's case for pension cuts is based on a foundation of lies and misinformation, we are here to make ourselves heard and I know, I know that many of you have already banging on your MLA's doors, demanding that the PCs keep their pension promise or face the consequences in the next election. I applaud you and everyone and everything you've done. So if you haven't paid your MLA a visit yet, please do so. Because it doesn't seem like Alison Redford's getting the message that our pensions are a promise, the promise of a secure retirement. So why don't we help Allison get the message by getting her attention. Keep your promise! 
Keep your promise. Keep your promise. Thanks, everyone. Good luck. Unnecessary. What we need to do is not cut the retirement benefits of public employees, but expand retirement benefits for all. And we need to be careful because the Wild Rose Party has been putting pressure on this government to reduce pensions and to do away completely with the fine benefit pension plans. And you need to remember that. a caucus of only four, but every one of them is here. David Hagen, Rachel Notley, Karen Bellis, and me. If we had 16 members, every one of us would be here. If we had 32 members, everyone would be here. And if we had 64 members, none of us would have to be here. Remember, the next election is only two years away, and we will continue to fight for you every day of that two years. Thank you. President of Treasury Board and Finance Minister Doug Horner says, with these changes, public servants will still have excellent pension plans with secure and predictable benefits at a reasonable price. Pension benefits already earned will not decrease and those earned in future will continue to increase based on years of service and salary. The Alberta government has posted proposed changes at this website address.